Plains, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, the Inquisitive. My name is Tori Thompson. Oh, no intro today? Yeah, no. No, I don't no have nothing. I don't have anything going on. I'm just kind of feeling it out, feeling me for today. Okay, okay. Well, uh, my name is uh, Tyler from NPR, Matheson. And today we're joined by a guest uh, known as HD2K on uh, YouTube. Uh, you can find him there. Uh, HD, why don't you give yourself a little introduction? Uh, my name is HD, comma, Animal Crossing is for furries, 2K. Speak um, of Anna. I feel <laughs> you, brother. <laughs> 2 K is your last name. <laughs> I can't. I can't give out the government. Like I'm, the IRS is hunting me down. I didn't do my 2020 taxes, so <laughs> or my 2019 taxes for that. I just kind of called that one a wash with COVID. I just figured there's no point in doing it. We're all busy. Let's get a redo. Let's get a redo. I'm done. We get mulligan years on our taxes, right? Yeah. Exactly. What if they did that? What if they were like, no, you know what? It's not going to be 21. We're actually just going to try this one. They're, they're going to do a full suicide squad. Like, you know what? That one didn't work out. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> Let's restart the whole one without Will Smith. Easy. <laughs> That's what they should have done. They should have just had Will Smith join the cast just for a second to be like, ah, that's hot. And that's it. <laughs> But yeah, welcome, welcome to HT2K, our very first guest on the show. Well, we did have guests before when Tori was gone. So oh, HD is right, not. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're you're not that cool. I am a fool. Yeah. So HD, you're not special. Don't ever get that idea that you are. I'm. I literally own Shapeless Skyrim. So like, like <laughs> I'm, I'm literally putting my contract down. Whenever you're ready to sign it, Tori, just let me know when I'm the unpaid intern. I'm trying to sure, sure. So you own it, but also we haven't signed any type of documentation, and also you're an unpaid intern. Just, uh, just make sure that you don't get the document to sign from Tyler because the last one he signed it or he handed to me was written in crayon, and I don't, I don't trust that. I mean, I signed it anyway, but I don't trust it. That's your own fault. That's your was own it, fault. Was it crayons from Chili's though? So is, is it like credible? <laughs> so, yeah, they're better. I'm not sure. Tyler, were they were they Chili's crayons? No, they were Applebee's crayons. Oh fuck! Get out! Get out now! We're done with you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I was just in a bit of a rush, you know. That's kind of all of our videos. But uh, speaking of videos, um, HD, why don't you tell us a little bit about like because you also make YouTube videos on your own channel, HD Two K. Um, what's, what's your deal? Who are you? Why? I don't know why I do anime content. It just kind of, I just was watching Naruto and all those waifus and the big anime tatas yeah. just really hit oh, me yeah. across the face. And I decided, <laughs> you know, I'm really good at this Shinobi Strikers online rated T Naruto game that everybody loves so much. And I, I created like a, like a fan base on the Facebook community pages, like people either hated me a lot or loved me a lot. Like I had people like calling out my like Down syndrome cousin, making fun of my mother, oh, like geez. grabbing. Are you, ser are you serious? Oh yeah, like without <laughs> <laughs> without hesitation, making memes. Like it, there, anime attracts all across the world different human beings. Like you can get people like me who are just like just your normal everyday trying to fuck a milk guy. Or you can get <laughs> the the thug that just got out of jail, or like the cocaine dealer. How how much is how how, how PG do we keep the the podcast around? Let it fly. Yeah. Okay, nuts. so these this isn't exactly baseless. Like this is true thing. Like these are like thugs. You have pedos. Like recently we just exposed some dude texting like a fifteen year old kid, oh, and boy. then the other day we had another dude and a sorry again furry like Discord. And he plays Shinobi Strikers, and he's married to a woman talking to 15-year-old boys, and they're having, like... Oof. And this is all in the Shinobi Strikers community. So, again, I grew a community from all those people. <laughs> Love or hate me. They watch my videos. And I was like, you know, I'm going to try this out, make some YouTube videos. And I was like, I need to start off right. Like, I need to do this right. So I researched, watched, and I also did, like, Adventure Quest Worlds content, like, a while ago for, like, eight years ago. And I had a... A similar fan base like pedos serial killers <laughs> it seems thugs. like, you're the it seems one. like there's a common yeah, denominator in like this there's a through line here <laughs> i'm a leader <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow, you're so not, brave. Not a great one. <laughs> not a great leader, <laughs> but a leader nonetheless. But anyways, so I kind of had that background. Then I was like, okay, Shinobi Strikers, I want to make this stuff great. Like, my thumbnails were terrible at the beginning. So then I was like, let me research this. I want to do this official. Like, I saw people growing. Like, people I think I could do better than. So I was like, let me do this correctly. Like, I think I can do better. I learned how to edit real quick. I had a cracked version of Wondershare for more, which I still use, Sony Vegas, all that stuff. And I've never had, like, I've never been taught how to edit. As you can see, like, there's literally mistakes all through my videos. Yeah, they suck. They're horrible. Uh, They're the worst videos I've seen on them. Let's, let's see Tyler. that Apex channel. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, simmer down over there, buddy. See, you know, I was going to come to <laughs> HT2K's defense, and I was just going to be like, hey, Tyler, he's our guest. We should be nice. But HT was like, nah, fuck you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> just fired right back. But, yeah, so I just, like, really, like, powerhouse, like, thumbnails. Like, I didn't, like, make them at first. Like, I was like, even though I did, like, graphic design in high school, I was like, I want to make these official, like, as as official as the thumbnails are, I've, I kind of figured out, like, your thumbnail is like 50% of the video. Like oh, yeah. that's your attention grabber. Like that's mm -hmm. how people come to your video. And like I research tagged, which Tori and I have different opinion on tags as I see as our mm -hmm. little text channel. He's like, they're not important, but they're important to me. I like research. Like, like I like basically beat off to tags. Like I look at every <laughs> single one, what's going on. Like, okay, this is the best Naruto tag. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the lamest dude, sentence dude, ever. Dude, dude. Naruto tag, yeah. Oh, um, what Naruto tag am I going to use for this? Hashtag nine tails. I don't think I've done hashtag nine tails. That might be a good one. Um, <laughs> thank to you. But yeah, I just kind of researched and like I was like, yo, I can do better than these people. And I had a little bit of a community and it grew pretty quickly because I had this thing called Demon Time Reacts. Sorry to like keep going on. But uh, Demon Time Reacts is literally me, like, just shitting on people's videos. Like, literally, like, you guys are really nice when you do m your mod showcases. Like, imagine you just, like, like you, what you did to, what's his name? The the guy in White Run Moldy Cat Skin. Yeah. Basically what you did to him. <laughs> but I do that to literally everybody's videos. And they love it. <laughs> they just, they want you to just hurt them. They're like, yeah, really punish me, They pops. send the videos in. I, I literally, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to make you feel like you are basically like the worst content creator in the history of the world. And they're like, bet. But one person in particular didn't know. And I just sat there and I was like, this is probably the top five worst edited video I have ever seen. And I have no experience to talk about edited videos, but this is absolute shit. And he didn't realize that's what I was doing to react to the videos. And yeah, oh. people... People just oh, love toxicity tough. in that community. So I just grew pretty quickly from that reaction. So you say that there's like this this really bad side of your community, but it does seem like you are the gasoline that's kind of like, yeah, guys. Yeah, now send me your videos. I'll tell you how shitty you are as a human. What's going on? Is this therapy? <laughs> are you guys coming for me? This is, have, yeah. <laughs> but I also helped them. I helped their community. I helped oh, them. Oh, yeah, like, sure, you know, sure. A lot of people... <laughs> I have sure. put out thumbnail tutorials, video sure, tutorials. Sure, man. That's the serial killer that says, no, I set them free by killing them. <laughs> yeah, I did them a favor. Yeah, you were mercy dissing them. I think my Discord would say I helped them. A lot of people come to me like, I made content because of HD2K, okay? And a lot of people do say I became a serial killer because Charles Manson. But that's neither here or there, okay? <laughs> yeah. What, what an absolutely psychotic comparison. <laughs> Those kids have... Stockholm syndrome for you. <laughs> Those kids are just only used to you being mean to them. Hang on, because you're gonna get me really confused. Or not? These people are gonna get confused because there's a guy named Ventus SGN. You could put that tag in there as well. Um, no free plugs. <laughs> I got you. Um, there's a joke that he's a 50 year old dude and hangs out with 18 year olds and 19 year olds. And there's a joke that he has kids in his basement. So you kind of have to walk that fine line because that's a, a lot that's of so fucking funny. That's so fucking <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty funny. Like he hangs out with 18. <laughs> like in his last video, he's hanging out with like a, a, like a 16 year old. I'm like, and then went to KFC and tried the McChicken in his vlog. Like, I don't know. Someone, Hey, Hey, we got to get the FBI on him. Hey, yeah. has anyone ever been like, yeah, that's a funny joke. But maybe we should look into this. <laughs> the, funny, the funny part is he like he loves his like Nissan Sentra. Like out, like he'll he he takes fucking it. Fucking reliable car. You can't. It's a great him. reliable car. Why wouldn't you love it? <laughs> Listen, but he's like 
<laughs> he's like he's parking it to another Nissan Sentra and like comparing his and he's like and taking it, <laughs> and taking it onto the beach. And he calls like kids the F word and says that he's gonna Jesus. kill them. What and the like, fuck is wrong with is, this guy? He needs to be investigated immediately. Yeah, if if he was in a different community, he would already be canceled. Like Reddit, <laughs> that's the problem, though. You're not making like, a good Reddit call already for like threw him off the platform. Like Reddit <laughs> hates this dude. This isn't a good. You're not making a strong case for why he's actually good. <laughs> oh, he's not. I didn't say. He was, did I say he was good? No, he is like the worst content creator in the history of Shinobi Strikers. But he is also my hero in a sense. Like I just want to be just like him without like the basement, the f word bombs. But like <laughs> other than that, aside from all the pedophilia and Nissan Sentras, the dude's pretty top notch. <laughs> but I have a Nissan Sentra. <laughs> is that why? It, hold uh, on. Do you want to be? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you want to be like him because he cucked your Nissan Sentra? He's just got a better one. I, no. Whoa. 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 You're jumping to a lot of conclusions there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a better Nissan Sentra than him. Ooh. Yeah. I have yeah. a 2020. He has a 2017. Oh, All but right. the 17. Oh, the 2017 yeah. was That's such a great, great year, year for, for Nissan one. Sentras. Have you seen the 2020? 2017 was a good year. For who? <laughs> Little Uzi Vert? <laughs> who was 2020 a good year for? I liked it. I got a new car. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck all your dead grandparents i got a new car 2020 was great did you buy it with all that anime money i got covid in 2021 so i'm good like i'm straight <laughs> yeah uh didn't you get covid like a day before you were supposed to get your first vaccine yeah and my and a haircut like i waited a month to get a haircut. <laughs> yeah, and, poor, and i was supposed to get a vaccine a haircut so i had to wait another two weeks oh. and i had like a poodle hair like it was terrible you were about to be fresh as fuck though oh yeah i, came I out love wet. that your priorities were like yeah i was about to get the vaccine that everyone's been waiting for but like more importantly i was about to get a fresh cut <laughs> So, uh, speaking of Shinobi Strikers and the like community that you're the apparently great, a great horrible community. leader in, like, what would you say is like the average age of the people, like your viewers? My viewers, uh, see, my average viewers, because I do get the thugs, I get the no live adults who are waiting on that stimmy check every week. But I also have, like, the kids, like Draco. Shout out to Draco. Breezy. You know those guys. They're pretty great. And shout out like, Draco. Yeah, Draco's that boy. But, like, they're, like, 13, 14, 15, 12. So they're about, like, I would say my average range is about 15. Because I do have those, like, grown men. I hate HD2K, but I'm going to watch his content just to see if he's gotten any better. Which I don't. But, like, <laughs> keep watching. You've plateaued. Because, Tay, what's your, like, stream viewer audience age? Like, I, because I know you've got a few new people now, and I have no idea how old they are. Yeah, um, I can't check those analytics on the Twitch backend, actually. Twitch doesn't tell me ages like YouTube does for, like, specific uh, users. Um, but the majority of people who are, like, in my community are just my friends right now. So the people who are externally in my community, I would say, are about... 17 to 20 something i haven't gotten yeah. the imp i haven't gotten the impression that anyone's younger or any like older than that um so i would say about my age yeah yeah the people who have shown up in your stream seem to be like they're like 18 and stuff and then i know for skyrim tori what is it like 12 <laughs> no, we it, it no, it straight up used to be like chill like literal children. And there's there still is like the young teenagers, but now our main demographic that almost at the same percentage are 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. That's good. That's good. Didn't so we, we have we've matured. We've we've brought we kicked out all the children and we were like, nah. <laughs> wasn't our cool wasn't kids. our like strongest user base like a seven year old from Europe at one point? Oh, oh yeah. for like a few months we had a stretch where it was like <laughs> yeah. seven to nine year olds from Europe. <laughs> that's pretty tough it was the no it was like the 45 to 55 year old women from yep. europe and they yep. were tuned yep. in 
They were tuned in for me. They just loved yeah, we me. Had, we had those British milfs. They were way into Tyler and his thick behind. Everyone knows it's so juicy. He's got these beautiful ears, a nice shapely face. Like they couldn't stay away Stop from that blonde it. boy. Stop it. Stop it. You're you're too kind. I, I only bring it up because <laughs> the similarities of like what we dealt with and then what H D deals with with like children sometimes. It's like, God damn y'all are so dumb. Like yeah. you're so, seriously so, dumb. So yeah, do you have the thing where they get into your comments sometimes? And it's, like, totally not the majority that you see. But it'll be, like, one kid who'll go down, like, every video and just scream the same comment at you. And it's like, dude, this has been, like, two hours. I, I'm not going to make another video till next week, so I don't know what <laughs> hey, you're trying to do. Check out this mod. You haven't made it yet. Get to it. Like, come <laughs> on. That, that happens in Shinobi Strikers where people are like, I have this build for you. I want you to try it. Do it. Why haven't you do it? Do it. I'm like, bro, chill. Like, I need to sleep. Like, I just posted this <laughs> video. Like, I'm not okay. Okay, for the audio listeners, my man rolled up his sleeves and had to show the muscles right quick. Like, chill out, bro. <laughs> sorry, I just gotta. Sorry, I get like really defensive when HD is around. <laughs> I just go into like you alpha to, male to, mode. Yeah, you have to really stomp that sigma. Like, you have to. You have to ensure that people know <laughs> you are the the kind of the one in charge. My man posted here. a whole axe cutting video, like to make sure. <laughs> Stop mixing <laughs> my girlfriend. I'm like, ah, ha, ha, I can't, bro. Ah, ha. And that's the problem is that he doesn't. HD doesn't stop texting my girlfriend. I fear God, homie. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fear any man. I fear God himself. All right, let's pray. In my, in my defense, she texted me. She goes, should I dye my hair blonde? And I was like, ah, ha, ha, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> You know, you bring up you bring up a good point about like anime people just being anime people. Um for for the Skyrim content, there's a lot of people who are just like really interested in Skyrim and are like, "Oh, I like the lore, this that, the other thing." And there's a lot of like connectedness and, "Oh, this is my favorite part of the game. Oh, this is my favorite part of the game." In the anime community, if you think a certain anime is good, like people will fucking crucify you. They will shit on you. <laughs> So having that intense, like, kind of backdrop for your uh, a user base for people on your videos, for me, that seems really intimidating. But I, I, I go on it full, like, full head, like, I, not full head, but, like, full head of steam, and I'm like, challenge me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want them yeah. to come at me. I love toxicity. Like, you can see <laughs> me and Tyler go at it, and that is the energy that I, I, like, thrive on that type of energy. You have... And I, I'll be bringing it up later, too, because we got some questions from your audience. But your audience specifically, they will, like, if I post anything in your Discord, they will all just, like, mass respond to me. Just like, what do you want, pussy? You want smoke? <laughs> huh? Why don't you catch these hands? And it's like, Draco, you are 15, and you are talking to me like that. I will slap you. <laughs> You have a door of the Explorer towel. Chill out, boy. <laughs> yeah, Man. I'll get all these kids that are just like, anime community is for some reason the most toxic place on earth. Like, I'm afraid to tell weebs what my favorite anime is because <laughs> they'll just like, do you want to die? I'll kill you. <laughs> I tried. I remember trying one time because like I wanted to, I wanted to like watch some anime and it was straight up like, I watched Death Note, just the most basic one, right? And then someone yeah. would be like, oh, do you like anime? I'm like, oh, I liked Death Note. And they're like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of my house. How dare you like that? That's you some know, American shit. Fuck you. The more I'm thinking about it, too, it's not just the anime community that you're dealing with. You're also dealing with the fighting game community, which is that also is another that another is, yeah. breed of very toxic. <laughs> no, and Reddit. Reddit? I have been <laughs> crucified by Reddit, and I have no idea why. All I do is post my videos on Reddit, on the Snowy Strikers Reddit. And oh, it's wait. Like, wait, you post your own content on Reddit? Oh, yeah, they yeah, didn't but kick they you for allow that? you to do that on that subreddit. Like they're like Fuck they that. want you to do it. Skyrim kicked us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I post your videos on the Skyrim Facebook group and one guy was like dope. And I was like, yeah, they're pretty great, guy. <laughs> like I'm glad you <laughs> Thank like you. them. Anyways, yeah, there's a but, there's a oh, go ahead, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say Reddit like Reddit is a different breed when it comes to fighting games. They will kill you. Like, they'll bring up your dead grandma from 3,000 years ago and be like, I'd fucked her instead. I'm like, okay. Bro, I grave robbed it. and had some of that. <laughs> yes, literally. I took her jewelry. 
and I wear it. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I look like a king. <laughs> Literally. I mean, but it's hard, too, because, like, it goes too far to the point where, like, last week you had to put up a video of, like, yo, I got way too much, like, racism going on in these comments and in these messages. Like, y'all got to chill the fuck out. That's a good point, because I did post that video, which I highly di- doubt Tori ever watched. But anyways... I did watch <laughs> that one. You did watch it, Tori? I, I oh, did. Wow, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like, proud. Like, you don't respond that's to the only, That's the fucking only one, pal. Don't get too happy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you don't owe me. I get it. I get it. I got you. But anyways, that, that was... Like, I had just watched, like, the verdict for, like, not trying to get too political, but for George Floyd. And that's, like, kind of relative to where you guys live. And, um... I watched that and then and then like the next morning, right? I wake up. Like I I woke up at like ten o'clock that day, like pretty like hungover. I was reading my text messages and I was like, Why is Tyler going absolute crazy on these little kids? Like he was like going ham on these little children of God. And I'm reading these text messages. Gotta drop the hammer on those kids. <laughs> well, watch out what you say there. You're about to join the Shinobi Strikers community if you keep talking about kids and dropping the hammer. Or something. I don't care. I'm ready you're for the talking smoke. talking up little kids like that. You're going to be an anime boy in no time. <laughs> yes, sir. About to start his own Shinobi Strikers channel instead of the Apex one that we don't know about. Anyways, um, <laughs> the Discord was saying like racist stuff. They were saying like hard R. And, I, and I'm and i like, Ooh. I don't know Discord. Like, I don't know Skype. Like, these like video call stuff, I don't know it. I can edit you a video. I can make a Shinobi Strikers video. I can work with the audio. I can do all that stuff in like five minutes, like 10 minutes, whatever. Like, when I'm not like, I'm, I don't care about a Discord. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not something I like really like. Somebody else made it for me. Like, put it like that. Like, someone was like, You want a Discord? And I was like, Sure, whatever. And they yeah. did everything. Like, they made everything. And I'm looking and I'm like, Whoa, where are these people that made this Discord at? Why are they not taking care of this? And they're like arguing with the people, calling them N words and like oh, talking boy. about this and that. And I'm like, And I'm like, Tyler is like fighting off like 30 feral children saying the hard <laughs> R. And I'm just like, <sighs> So I just got in the shower and just put my head like under the shower for like 30 minutes. And I finally responded, uh, whoever said the N word and I'm going to scroll up is getting kicked out like point blank yeah. period. And then I was like, I'm going to have to make a video. And then I made the video. I was like, and, and it was really the, I was going to make that video about George Floyd. And like, as a white person, as like being privileged, I've never experienced racism, even living in Tennessee, I've never seen racism. Um, I wanted to be like, you don't need to feel guilty. You can feel like you want like make sure you feel like you do something do something to help somebody to left or right make them feel welcomed even at whatever color they are like we're all humans at the end of the day that was kind of my message yeah. and that was all from that discord and, <laughs> because and what, that, what was the <laughs> response to that video i i was really surprised to get some dislikes like i was really like, like why and it was like I'm going to say all the positive comments were really like, yo, you, you, I thought you were a joke, but this really means a lot to me. A lot of people were like, um, you're, you're standing up because none of the other Shinobi strikers community, like they d- haven't said anything about racism. Like they haven't done anything about it. And to like step on a platform and really kill off your like right winged community fan base. Like that's pretty like a big stance. And like a lot of people don't do that. So that was really positive, but there was a few negatives comments like one person basically was just like why don't you just make shinobi strikers content and shut up yeah oh the whole God. the whole why are you being political on my that's that's just the gamer. umbrella like gamers, <laughs> well, I, I gamers told Tyler this and it kind of reminds me of lebron like I can't, i'm not lebron obviously but like it was like people were getting mad at lebron for having a political view and it was like just shut up and dribble and that was like a huge like espn oh, argument and it was just, and that's, that's kind of like looks a, so cute when he dribbles. He, he's <laughs> he he's a hunk. Uh, yeah, LeBron's a hunk. He recovered his hairline. The man can recover anything. <laughs> Forty rebounds in a game, and his hair pulls a rebound like that. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> LeBron. Except when he wears a headband, it starts to come off a little bit. But that's neither here nor there. Hey, that's another tag right there. We're we're killing it today, guys. I'm get proud the LeBron <laughs> tag. <laughs> yes, sir. Because that's yeah, not on, oversaturated. On the uh, on the Discord thing too, though. That's why I wanted to be the one who created both my Discord and the Shapeless Discord to get out ahead of that kind of a thing, right? So like, that's why the rules are pretty strict on some of the Discords that I'm run I'm running or am in. 
is because you don't want that one random person to come in and just start dropping hard R's all over the place. You want rules to be in place for when that does happen so you can handle it in a nice, you know. Oh, I don't give a fuck fashion. if I don't handle it in a nice way. I don't give a fuck <laughs> if it's not in. Like, I shouldn't need a specific rule. Like, they shouldn't be able to be like, oh, well, it wasn't in the rules. Yeah, I'm going to kick you anyway. I don't need a reason. Goodbye. Yeah, you're at that point, you're God and you can decide, I don't want this in here. Now get that out of here. And, and this isn't even the same thing, but we had some shit on our Skyrim videos where we made fun. There's like the Civil War quest line in Skyrim. Yeah. We made fun of it. It's a fucking fantasy fictional game. And then people are hopping in there, like defending Ulfric, the racist guy in the game like fully defending it and like bringing it into real world context. And it's like, Oh my God, Bruh, this you is are, a one, fantasy you're a fucking dork. What a fucking nerd. <laughs> I got some questions uh, from your toxic community here. So I want to give uh, my little bro Draco a special shout out. Give him the first question. Of course. Why not? Uh, Draco wants to know, can you actually pull MILFs? Because you talk uh, a big game about MILFs. Like, over in your Discord, it's all MILF talk. Like, it is entirely, like, what? what is it with MILFs? And can you actually pull them? Okay, so we've talked about it, right? Like, I'm not going to cap. We've talked about the Joe, right? Like, I t Cotton Eye Joe is a real place in Knoxville. Another tag for us, Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> it's literally a place... <laughs> We're, I'm we're, good. We're, we're, <laughs> you don't want that audience? I don't know why. <laughs> the Joe hoes come out of nowhere. Anyways, so if we're there. It, Sunday is the college night, and a, a, like a forty-year-old woman at the college night is there, and I'm dancing. Like we're having a good time. She comes up and grabs my hand, and like was like, "Yo, come dance." And I, was, and I didn't look who it was. So then she starts like dancing on me. I'm like, yo. <laughs> and, and you should check out my Shinobi Strikers <laughs> channel. Hey. I didn't. I, <laughs> your job. <laughs> it's toxic as fuck. I don't. Ha I didn't have a Shinobi Strikers channel at that time. I was, you know, just regular government name person. Well, maybe you would have smashed if you would have been making Shinobi Strikers yeah. content at that time. <laughs> all, you had to, all you had to do was whisper, "I'm a YouTuber," and she. <laughs> Bintus SGN did that. He literally was like, I have 100K subs. Like, you should, like, add me. Uh, oh. he, he was, it, it made me sick inside. Like, his vlogs, <laughs> chef kiss. But, yeah, so I have, like, a kid I was babysitting, like, off the record. His mom came home, single mom, and I was like, hey, like, he's in bed. And she's like, okay, like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, uh, probably going to go home, like chill uh watch a movie and she's like why don't you watch a movie here and i was like oh <laughs> yikes that's a straight was, porno plot i if i wish i could show you my phone like if i could i'll show you guys like visually like the category like it's literally like four tabs open just straight <laughs> <laughs> why my, do you have four tabs my open my friend's hot mom <laughs> stepmom <laughs> Why do you have four tabs open? You can't watch four tabs at once on your phone. You can only watch one. But all the audio can happen at once. The hub on the hub? The what hub? hub? What hub is that? I can't. I don't want to be that person. On this. No, give us another tag. <laughs> give us another what, tag, what please. Hub, what hub are you referring <laughs> to? Pornhub. Or <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Pornhub? Listen. So Pornhub, I got like multiple tabs, right? And I like the suggested videos. Like, you'd be, like, watching one that was good. You keep that one there. And then because you go look at the suggested videos, I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes it's twice a day. Like, I'm not going to lie. And you need. <laughs> yeah, you, you let the hub's algorithm take you down a real nice <laughs> journey. They're, they're getting AdSense out the ass from me. I know. And I'd be watching the whole yeah. ad. You're like, what? You're like, gr hot girls want to talk to me in my neighborhood? What the fuck? Or it's like the other one's like hot mom singles, and I'm like, ah, you about to make me act up, bud. <laughs> <laughs> this is but a yeah, different I kind of hole you fall into in Pornhub ad yeah. suggestions. Like I don't, I've never watched like hentai, like anything like that. Like you'd think I would because I like anime, but like I thought I think tentacle stuff is weird. So like, <laughs> what a bold stance. Well, at least what? you have standards. <laughs> of yeah, course, strictly milfs or like. 
uh, just you know, regular stuff like Lisa Ann. I just, when I saw Lisa Ann, I just knew I was like, she the one for me. Yeah, yeah. That that one nipple that hangs down and the other <laughs> one that goes north. That was the one for me. I knew it. Sure, it was time. the sort of cockeyed Carl appearance of those breasts. <laughs> but or, but whoa whoa, whoa Tori Tori, hang on. She fixed them here recently, so you knew I had to act up. She yeah. came back. She unretired. Yeah, you think I don't know that? I I didn't even know she retired. We, we, Why do you have this deep lore knowledge? <laughs> Tyler, you wouldn't the, you wouldn't understand the Ann Head community, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we run deep. Solidarity, <laughs> brother. I'm putting my fist up for you right now, even though my video is not working. I'm, listen, how brave of on. both of you! Listen, she did sports. She did Sirius XM sports, and they would have her like meet the players. And the problem with that is a porn star meeting like Notre Dame players. They're finna act up. So she was yeah, texting. That's a bad move. She was texting like, a oh, tight end. Go to this end. frat house, Lisa Ann. No, literally. So she met this tight end and she was texting this tight end and they like, you know, they fornicated. And like, there's a picture of them together. But the problem was she had a roommate and she, the tight end thought they were like talking. Like, like, you know, you know what I'm talking, talking, talking. But uh, she fucked his roommate. And there's another mm. picture of this like other football player. And like, he got mad where they got in a fist fight. So they got in a, a fist fight over Lisa Ann. Fist fight over Lisa Ann, band name I call it. BBC down the neck, boy. Like, come on. Yeah. Another tag for us. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> BBC. Wait, wait, we're, start, we're, we're over the bell curve. We're on our way down. I don't know. Nah, we're about 495. <laughs> where are we where are we posting this podcast <laughs> so we can use the BBC tag? Uh, I got to go on, on the, the hub, hub, probably. Yeah. Because yeah. then apparently the algorithm might take people to us. <laughs> got you. <laughs> is that how you found us? No, I just looked at Tori's OnlyFans. It was strictly forehead pictures, so it really got me. <laughs> yeah, that's probably my best feature because it's like it's big, but not too big. You know what I mean? Like it's just the right amount of skin where you're like, ooh, <laughs> no, ooh. No. <laughs> watch out! <laughs> Look, beautiful. I don't got a lot of good stuff, but when I when I know it, I flaunt it. You know, you have a beautiful beard and beautiful eyebrows. Don't let anybody tell you differently, okay? That's the Tori's gonna cry. <laughs> Yeah. That's the nicest anyone on this podcast has ever been to him. Mm -hmm. Dude, he he's number one in my book and looks. I don't know why you guys don't say, like... A. Well, I guess the Discord also agrees, because they're just shitting on me every day, and they're like, I like Tori better. It turns out <laughs> ego can only take you so far, Tyler. I think it was the uh, NASCAR jacket. Like, I think that really got the, the left-wing people really, like, against <laughs> you. <laughs> Because you literally have never seen a NASCAR in person, like a, like an actual like race car in person. Right? No, I'd love to. I I went to I went to a couple like Indy car races uh, when same. I was a kid, but not like an official NASCAR race. Yeah, I, I've only ever been to the place where the Daytona 500 takes place, but on a day that the Daytona 500 was not taking place, <laughs> which my that's which sad. My, which my parents thought was a really cool idea for a part of our vacation. <laughs> Hey, wow. you know, Tay, 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 come over here. Come over here. Look, you see that building right there? Why is her dad country? One day a year, <laughs> some cars go around that loop real fast. <laughs> wow, Paul, that's real exciting. <laughs> yeah, now get me another beer. <laughs> you can't take a kid on that for vacation. That's the dumbest vacation ever. It's like right there, that spot. You see that tire tread right there? That skid mark? That's where Dale died. You throw some <laughs> respect on that goddamn spot. It was it was kind of neat to see the stadium empty because you only ever see it full, right? So you never get the full scale of it when you're just yeah. But it on why TV. would I care about that? That's like going to an NFL stadium and it's empty, and it's like, wow, I bet this would be really fun when something's going on. You know, but today there is that isn't. would that would actually be <laughs> dope. But like the the energy of cars, like if you could go down and just like it's just me and like ten of my friends playing on the field or something, but. If you go to an IndyCar thing, it's like, well, there's some uh, metal bleachers, like it's a middle school softball game, <laughs> and oh, there's I see some circus peanuts just kind of scattered about there, and then there's no cars. <laughs> Fun. So, HD, I got a question for you here that right. uh, that the kids want to know. <sighs> if you were to fight an army of eight year olds, and okay. these are two categories. There's one fight is like normal eight-year-olds, 
And another fight is like the Discord eight year olds that you have, the feral ones. I don't have <laughs> quick, quick, quick question: is, is this going to take? Is this like completely absolving any felonies? Yes, of course. yes. Of course. So okay. you're expunged immediately. Like they can't arrest you. Yeah. No. 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 This is a legal fight that's happening. Okay. How many eight year olds could you take down before you lose? Because there's unlimited eight year olds. It's like a it's like a swarm type fight. Like they mm-hmm. keep coming. Wait, do they fight me back, or do I yes. just get tired? Yeah, yeah they, they fight, fight me back. They just throw their bodies at you like dumb little marshmallows? <laughs> <laughs> I would take down 43. 43. You think you could get 43 yeah. fights done before yeah. they overtake you? Yeah, punch them in the neck and move on. Like <laughs> That's literally my strategy, just run and punch in their necks. But one of those grubby little kids touches you. They're all sticky, every fucking one of them, because that's how eight-year-olds are. You're going to be like, what the fuck? And you're not going to want to touch them. It's going to be like that scene in The Incredibles with like the, the black balls that like stick to Mr. Incredible, but they're eight-year-olds. Exactly. It's that. What a no. deep pull with the Incredibles. What a I'm, deep I'm, fucking my pull. Bra- my brain is square, dude. Like It happens. I have a strategy for that, though. So you crush their windpipe, and that buys you at least, like, ten minutes with that kid being down. No, the sticky part. I have a strategy for the sticky part. What's the strategy? That was a bad sentence. (laughs) Uh The sticky part uh, from the children of which they do not wash their hands regularly because they are, you know, they whatever. I can't make it any less inappropriate. But... Like you know the green man suits, like the you know the like the full body suits. They're a little silky. Mm-hmm. Those things yeah. you can't stick to those. Like they're silky. So, so you're I'm gonna get, fight all those kids. I'm in fighting that. a Spider Man is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you're gonna yeah. wear a green morph suit and punch forty three eight year olds in the throat. <laughs> Maybe forty four if I don't get tired. <laughs> So what what is it that's going to eventually take you down? Like you're going to get tired or they're just going to finally I'm going to get tired. Like I'm going to get worn out. I have covid, so my lungs stamina is just not there. <laughs> yeah, you got those you got a bad body right now, so <laughs> they're going to have an edge on you. Well, I just at least I don't like vape like the rest of you guys. Like I, my body's still in tip-top okay. shape, but like <laughs> I love how when you said, at least I don't vape, as like a setup for a joke for us to laugh, both Tori and Tyler were like, that's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> that's not funny. Why would you think that's funny? He literally funny? put his vape down. He put it up a little bit. It's he just fucking like, like, water vapor, dude. You're not even... <laughs> You know what? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> You're the worst guest we've ever had. I'm like, I'm the only guest you've ever had. <laughs> I don't care about your toxic children <laughs> army, but you, you say one thing about vaping and I'm out. What about what about Discord kids? Like, what about the kids you have in your Discord? How many of them you think you could take down? I could probably take down Draco easily, without a doubt. Draco's getting punched with the Dora towel on, done. <laughs> then I got Breezy. Breezy is a wild card. I, th- I don't know how big Breezy is. I don't think I could take down... Miami. Miami would be a hard one because he's like six foot five at like 19. So I'm not taking him down. You're going to get your ass whooped. Probably. But the rest of them, I could take down. Those are the three final bosses, though. Like, those, <laughs> sure. like it's the three fight. It's like the the boss has like three stages, and like they transform. Yeah. The final one is Miami, and it's Miami standing there six five, like, all right. Run up. He's he's he literally owns those children. They literally make their <laughs> names to me in Miami. I don't understand. Like Miami is like the ultimate Discord mod. Like he sits there and literally argues with children. Twenty like I need to pay him eventually. Like I don't know how I'm gonna get to that, but like he needs to be paid because he literally sits there and entertains children all day. It's it's pretty impressive. Man, what's that joke about Discord mods being pedophiles? <laughs> Miami, listen. You do what you love. Don't do that. <laughs> if it ever gets to that point, just let me know. I'll buy you, <laughs> you a lady friend. I want to get through with these questions because a lot okay, of people sorry. did ask questions. I want to okay, get through go some ahead. good okay, ones. Okay. okay go so ahead. if you had to, <laughs> if you had to adopt one of these children, like Jeez. let's say it's a ch- it's a child who watches your videos. If you had to adopt one of them, what's the first life lesson you would teach as their father? Um. Uh, I would teach them, hey, like, do not ask a woman or a man their gender because you will get smacked in the face. That's literally like what I said the other day. I was like, I've literally been punched in the face because I was like, hey, ma'am. And they were definitely like not a ma'am. So like, 
Just, that's the first lesson. That's the that's the it's lesson. A, it's a good lesson. Wow. It's a good lesson to teach. It's a good lesson. It's Bro, a, I had long hair, right? And I was working at Aldi's, which highest paid job I've had. They were paying like 30 bucks an hour during the pandemic. Beautiful money. So I was like, they would always call me, ma'am, come here, please. And I'm like, I turn around, yo, what's up? And they're like, oh, never mind. Like, they would ask me, like, the most inappropriate questions. Like, and I'm like, just like, that's the thing I would be like, don't. Gender, like, don't ask Damn. about the gender. Just, HD just... threw out gender roles. King. Absolute king shit. King. Absolute king shit. And hold the door for a woman. Like, how? where did that go? Like, if you see a woman coming behind you, just open, just okay, open the door. We're swinging back now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just open the door for people. Just open the door we're for people. throwing out genders unless it's a woman. Open that door. <laughs> if it's a dude, close it immediately. <laughs> Women deserve all the rights in the world. Men deserve less rights. <laughs> we are we're kind of like a revolving door on this take, aren't we? <laughs> whatever whatever they gender identify, like don't ask them, but just, you know, everybody deserves the same rights, I guess, since we're not gender identifying. Anyways, let's go. Next question. <laughs> Glad we I mean, I had the same up. shit happen to me. I was wearing my tightest fitting pants, walking down the street in front of my house, going to the train, minding my own business. And then out of the car, someone leans out their head and they're like, damn, where are you going? And then I turned around and I was like, and I had such long hair. It was ridiculous. And then this I sounds turned like fanfic Tyler wrote about himself. Literally. And the deepest voice I had was just like, Sup. <laughs> and then they just got, there were like four other people in the car and they drove away all just bagging on this dude. This dude was getting just roasted in that car and I know it. And it was great. What do you expect, Tyler? You are caked up to all hell. I don't, I don't want to don't, talk about Don't it. sexualize his body like that. <laughs> wow, Tay. His body sexualizes itself. <laughs> I really You're do. not wrong, but come on. <laughs> um... We had a, a serious question here, too, that I think Rang asked, uh, which was, what are your goals this year, and how do you go about achieving your goals? My goal, One of my goals is to be a guest on a podcast, which this may or may not air, so maybe that will get fulfilled. Um, yeah, I'd keep working on that one. Yeah, I, I don't blame you, Five Head. But anyways... Um, <laughs> God <I'm> damn. <laughs> You're getting too comfortable. <laughs> I know. Tori literally and I have never spoke. Like, I DM'd him once. He was like, not answering that. <laughs> Sorry. My bad, dude. All right. Let me get in. Um, my other goal is uh, I want to hit, like, 15, 10,000 subscribers on. Uh, my goal is to be bigger and better than Shapeless Media. That's really my only goal. Just so I could, like, big bro you guys at this point. Like, you guys could be a guest on my content channel, you know. And, like... Like that's my goal, just to be better than shapeless media at this okay. point. Okay. Thank you, thank yeah. you for your. It's service. only when you can give us a leg up, then we'll, maybe we'll guest on your show. Well, the most commented video of all time on your channel, you know, I shout it out. But either way, um, <laughs> is um, he wrong? I think he's wrong, but he's not. I think he's very wrong, wrong about that, but he's not that wrong. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's wrong, wrong, but he's not that wrong. Not by a lot, yeah. And it, it was just HD 2K field. So if you put a little more HD 2K, maybe I'm willing to shout it out in different places. But anyways. Um, God damn, he's holding us hostage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's cucking, cucking our content. You can keep your racist seven-year-olds. I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> you, ha you literally have racist 30-year-olds in your Discord. Like, chill out, bro. <laughs> we had one racist 30-year-old. Let it go. <laughs> it doesn't define us. <laughs> I don't know the guy about the Coke and Pebs. Oh, maybe I should. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Fucking when crybaby like, was like, Coke is, Coke makes their employees learn how to be less white, and it's like, no, they don't. You fucking he's like, liar. He's like, Coca Cola's anti-white. Uh, how Wait. about you suck the fattest dick of all time, you <laughs> dumb little cuck? I was only, I was only part of that conversation for a little bit, but like, it got racist. What? No, it that was racist dude was from racist. the get go. That comment was racist. We posted it and we were like, hey, if any of you do this shit, you're banned immediately. <laughs> yeah. That's Good the fucking Lord. end of the story. Um, but yeah, how to achieve those goals, like just put out videos. Just, I mean, my other goal is to like pay my thumbnail designers double, which I just need more money to do that. That's a pretty attainable goal as I post more videos. Um, give all my YouTube money to Tay. <laughs> um, 
the next thing is try to promote shapeless media as much as possible. So they'd be like, okay, maybe he should be our intern. That's my next goal to be like official title where Tori like actually talks to me. Um, that, that's, I respond to your that's DMs. a long, long. I shot. mean, yeah, I, I left, <laughs> I left HD on red for like three months. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, these are attainable by just like hard work and commitment and don't give up. Like and just, hustle, it, grind, wake up every morning, outwork everyone. No, don't rise and grind. That, that's garbage. Like, don't do that. That's, if you say rise and grind and, like, have a notification that says rise and grind, you're not going to attain your goals. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> because I'm going to run you over before you can attain them. I'm literally... You're going to be one of the eight-year-old kids that I chop in the neck. Um, <laughs> that's just... It's a hard thing to say how are you going to attain your goals because if I knew how to attain those goals, I would already be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get you. I get you. I think I think it's because a lot of them also have YouTube channels too, and mm-hmm. they. It's just hard work. Like fifty percent of your, it's literally like where you post it. Your thumbnails need to be crispier. Like if you post like, if let's for example, let's throw Skyrim again. Another tag, um, Skyrim mods, Skyrim Xbox mods, blah blah blah. Um, had to throw the tags in there. If you have like, let's say you did a house and everybody did the same house, um. Like, how is your thumbnail going to be different from, like, somebody else's? Or, like, if you drop um, a build video or whatever, how is that? What if, like, 30 other people post that build video? Like, how is yours going to stand out? Um, It's an oversaturated market. Do you focus at all on, like, how to not necessarily, like, get the most views in that? Because if if we look at, like, Skyrim mods, we're not going to get the most views in that. We're just not going to. There's other people who've been doing it for longer who have bigger bases that are going to get that. Of course. But then it's like, okay, well, let's just find, like, no one's doing it like this. It's all like, oh, let's do voiceover and have, like, 30-second clips of these mods explaining it very, like, robotically. And then Mm -hmm. me and Tyler found that, like, oh, our show is just going to be more of a comedy show. Like, we're going to make it more of, like, you kind of stay because you want to hear us banter and then you learn a mod and then you come back next week because you want to hear more of it because it's like you're sitting on the couch with us hanging out. My goal is not to get the most views. My goal is to be different as possible. When you look at mm-hmm. when you look at my video, like if you go in a dark room, you don't look at the, the, the YouTube content creator's name, you immediately know that is an HD 2K video. My editing style, the way I do things, the way I talk, I want it to be completely different. Now, there are times where, like, I drop, like, there are DLCs. Like, you guys all play games with DLCs in them, like, Apex. If you you see those content creators, they'll wake up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning as soon as Apex drops. Just using that as an example, as you guys, mostly you play it, I think. Um, and they drop that DLC content. Like, dude, this is what happened in Apex or Fortnite. Like, some of you guys know what Fortnite is. Like, whoever watches it. They, hey, like, who knows out. Fortnite? Thumbs up hey. in the chat for Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's... Hey, those furries, you know, they're pretty blind. Um, <laughs> can't sorry. see through those big-ass fursuits. I, I can't. T- don't touch my tail type shit. Anyways, um, <laughs> you have when you drop those DLCs, you want to get the most views. That's where your moneymaker is. Like when Shinobi Strikers drops DLCs, shop updates, that's when you drop the videos. You try to drop those early as possible, as quick as possible, so you can get those views. That's the only time that I'm trying to get the most views. Like the money is good. Like it's a good, like, like bonus that I give to Tay, but like <laughs> it's it, it's not my goal. My goal is to be different, except for DLCs and shop updates. So that's when I'm like, uh, gotta get this out first. Gotta get out this first. And I try to make it as most informational pack. Like I try to most YouTube videos for Shinobi Strikers are like ten minutes long, and they talk about each thing. And I'm trying to cut it down that ten minute video to two minutes and have all the information jam packed. That they try to throw memes, funny things in there, get as much information because. Let's be honest. Kids' attention spans are like a minute. Yeah, like mm-hmm. point as period. shown by YouTube analytics. Yeah, they gotta <laughs> yeah. get back to their hentai. Yeah. <laughs> they got four other tabs open of Pornhub. Yeah, they're letting the algorithm take them. I'm literally 23. Why are you coming at me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not open. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I de- I definitely think that doing shorter update videos like that uh, for like new content probably helps out a ton too because. 
when I'm looking at new things for like a game that I'm already playing, I don't want some long winded 10 minute video where it starts with, Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy. Check out all my merch. I just want the information. I want it in like two minutes. Just get it done. Yeah. You know, that's exactly, that's what I like. I'm, I, I don't, I don't think I'm hilarious. Like you guys, you guys are witty and quick. I'm not that quick. I don't know, like, dude. You've I'm made me laugh. Sure. I think you're probably fucking ass off. All of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, like that information thing, I hate, I hate long videos. Like I always tell, like when I do the demon time reacts where I'm like reacting to their videos, I'm like, cut down your video. I don't care about your funny ha ha's. They're not funny. They don't make me laugh. You miss the mark on the joke. You're literally, your sound effect is two seconds too late. Like, let's get it together. It's not funny. The only part that was funny to me is how bad this is edited. Like, <laughs> like pay attention. I think he hates us. Now, what? We got to throw in some baseless claim stuff in this podcast. We got to get our core audience here. Uh, we got to give them something they want. Uh, so, glug, 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 glug. Welcome to Liquor Store mm. Reviews. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Now, <clears throat> Liquor Store Reviews is where we pull just some, just look at local liquor stores, see what the folks on the ground have to say. Like the people <laughs> grinding in the streets, what do they have to say? <laughs> And to fit for this interview, I pulled liquor stores from HD's hometown and college town. Oh, and oh, I, was, I was surprised to find that uh, over in Tennessee, they are built different over there. <laughs> they, There's nothing to do but drink, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and hike. <laughs> like. Typically what happens with liquor store reviews is people just say wild shit and like, it's always negative. Like, it's always like, oh, I came into the store and someone was getting shot. And then I tried buying my alcohol anyway. And it's usually wild shit. Okay. What I found about the Tennessee ones where you live were that the people in your hometown, apparently, like, the ones who run the liquor store, I guess, are the nicest fucking people on earth, and no one has anything fucking negative to say about them. Wild. Well, Oak Ridge, they, they're going in there for wine. Like, they're not going to be jerks. There's no Karens. There's only, like... They don't want they don't want Bud Light and PBR. Mm. They're looking for some, like, do you have a fine red for me? Yeah, like, it's a Stephanie, not a Karen. Like, they're, like... <laughs> it's a Madeline. Soccer mom just going in there, gra- grabbing her, like, Natty Seltzer or, like... <laughs> Like some seltzer type, like a white white claw, and just getting out immediately. Like, yeah, gonna go find a twenty three year old to bang. The only <laughs> ones I found <laughs> that was slick. All right, bro. <laughs> the only one I found that was weird from that town was <clears throat> from a local guide. It was four stars, and it says. Anytime I'm in town to visit the mother-in-law, I always wow, wow. stop and get my moonshine here. Oh, they just kind of let it fly down, yeah. in, down in Tennessee. They're like, yeah, this illegal shit, we just sell it fucking retail. Moon, <laughs> moonshine uh, in Tennessee, I don't know your rules, but in, if you, you can have a legal distillery like for moonshine. like You can go legal. I don't know if you guys have that, but uh, that's buck wild. No, you can you can have a moon like there's like there's a thing called Severeville. Like shout out to Shev- Severeville or whatever uh, Pigeon Forge, where Dolly Parton has Dollywood and Dollywood Splash Country, all those places. Like she has her own theme park. Um, down in that area, they have legal distilleries where you can literally go in there do moonshine te- uh, tastings. Uh, like if they, tours, you just get a flight of moonshine. Like you, <laughs> you can get any flavor. There's like caramel. Like there's like my favorite, like uh, fireball type moonshine. I love that what stuff. What the fuck? Oh, that it's is so good. That's so weird that you can just like, yeah, it's just le- it's just moonshine. It's just moonshine. That makes What's me the feel deal? like it's not like I think of moonshine from like Lawless, where Shia LaBeouf's fucking shooting people in the dick for it, like. You gotta, you're running from the law. It's thick. Like, it's like, it's just basically like flavored Everclear at this point. Like, it's good. Shit that'll make you go blind. They just drop a Jolly Rancher into some Everclear and they're like, this is it, baby. <laughs> basically, yeah. It's good. I'm t- I, I did like, the first time I ever had moonshine, I was like allegedly 20. Um, and it, it knocked me down, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Shocker on that one. <laughs> it just, it put me down. There are. <laughs> all of these reviews about the owner of one of the liquor stores and uh, 
seriously, nothing negative to say about this man. Like these two, he is always willing to help with selection and answer any questions. He has great drink and recipe ideas as well that he is fully willing to share. And dot, 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 dot. He's easy to look at. Ah, <laughs> okay. Got a Go hunk on. behind the counter, do we? Stephanie going crazy. I, I have a theory, but I need to hear the next review of the positive nature in order to confirm or deny my theory. So yeah. if, if you would. Yeah, the next <laughs> review, the literal next review on the store was, the owner is very easy on the eyes and quite a flirt. That is the owner logging into separate accounts and putting reviews at his own store. <laughs> nope. A hundred percent. Nope. Tennessee people definitely have more time. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> we drink moonshine and go hiking and fuck our cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it because everything literally like. Even Johnson City? 400. No, oh, Oak not, Ridge oh, specifically. Bad. Johnson oh. City is another story. <laughs> okay, good. Because Johnson City is like my college town. ETSU uh, is absolutely like... My first party I ever went to ETSU, the floor literally caved in. Like, we were in an oh apartment. Gosh. We were in an apartment, like, third story. We were all chilling. I was in the kitchen, and I hear a... And it just caved in. Like, everybody just Whoa. fell into the second floor. And I'm like... Oh. And I look down, and I'm like... Yeah! I just got out. I was like, that's not my problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seriously, 400 positive reviews. And then one, after all of these rave reviews, one review, one star. Guy that works there is a tool. <laughs> that's the one dude who's like, all these MILFs are into him. And like, he's not even that good looking. Exactly what I thought. It was just one dude pissed that his crush is like just fl <laughs> like the dude who owns the liquor store is just pounding his crush. And he's like, he's a tool. I don't even like him. He's not even that nice. <laughs> yeah, just the Bud Light. Thank you. <laughs> uh, there was one review. Um, so you got some Bible thumpers in there uh, because they just sure. said alcohol destroys lives. Ugh. No, they they went to leave a review for that. Yeah, how yes. many stars? How many stars? One star. Oh, oh. one so star. They, they still didn't treat people how they wanted to be treated <laughs> as a Christian stance, but they were like, "Let me ruin this man's business slightly because that's what Christians are supposed to do." I guess leave, like leave the place where they found it worse. I guess. I don't know. Also, <laughs> no one going to a liquor store review is on the fence about buying liquor. That's completely They're not fair. looking at reviews. They're going there. They're just literally like, going there. They're like, there is this one cheaper or more expensive? That's kind of all I care. I'm not like, should I Should I try drinking for the first time? No, <laughs> that's right. It ruins lives. Yeah. Dang it. They got me. They really, these Jehovah Witnesses really got me today. I just can't. <laughs> I think that's why they left it, is they're like, well, maybe if someone is straying from the light of the Lord and they look at the reviews, they'll find a way to change their mind. I can still save them. See, what they don't realize, though, is that there are, like, maybe four people reading reviews, and they are the owner, like, two curious college kids not knowing the area, and us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most liquor store reviews are read by us. <laughs> I haven't read a Google review in, like, if I see, like, two stars, I'm like, ah, probably not going there, but I'm not reading the reviews. <laughs> You're like, this Denny's seems fine. I mean. <laughs> Johnson City, a completely different story. I don't think anyone in Johnson City wears a mask. I don't think they want to either, judging by the reviews. <laughs> oh, because yeah, it's definitely like uh, what Trump. Got the election stolen from him. Yeehaw! Like, yeah, it's stop the very, count. Yeah, it stop, is yeah. Legit, every single negative review that I could find for the past year on these, because before they were all like four stars, five stars. Yeah. One star reviews for the past year. Every single one of them is similar to this of, I could not believe how rude the two people working there were to me and my son. Since what? March, no one, and I mean no one, all caps, has told my son, all caps, <laughs> he has to wear a mask. The guy came out from the back and stopped us at the front door and told me that my nine-year-old son needed a mask. He said if he was over three years old, pretty sure the CDC said 12. 
Oh. Not sure on not not a hundred percent on that one, but I think I read that somewhere. And while I am on Google to leave this review, I will not check that information. I will not fact check myself. <laughs> now back to eight chan. You gotta think that city was like half empty on January sixth. So like you can't take that. <laughs> like, you can't take those reviews. They all migrated <laughs> a little bit for that one. <laughs> That city was a ghost town, boy. Where'd they go? <laughs> they went to make their history. And boy, did they. And this explains what they were talking about, because then they say, when I told him my son does not go to public school, he very rudely <laughs> said, well, he still needs a mask. What does that have to do with the, like, I don't understand. Like, Tennessee is a different breed. My son doesn't need school. Why does he still have to wear a mask? It's like, my son doesn't even go to public school. And it's like, well, we can tell because you're dumb as shit. And also... He's got three teeth. Johnson City, yeah. Like, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but, like, the more you get closer to Virginia and Tennessee, the dumber things are. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, South Carolina, North Carolina... Hey, stop. That Our base is there. <laughs> what? That's where all of our fans live. Please don't shit on it. Listen here, Virginia. You're... <laughs> Virginia. <laughs> we got then Johnson City starts just getting like sad where you get local guide five stars daily visits for me. Yikes. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> was that left in 2020? Because if it was left in 2020, we have to cut legally. We have to cut them slack. Yeah, legally. Like you get a you get a a, a mulligan on twenty twenty. Like if you get, became an alcoholic like Tori in twenty twenty, <laughs> then you just get a mulligan. It was before twenty twenty. Yeah, don't it was worry. definitely before twenty twenty for Tori. Johnson City also has like this population. This you have to imagine this message, this review is littered with emojis, and it says, "Great, give veterans the ten percent discount. We earned it." Oh, I fucking cool. hate military that cool. demand that you give them discounts because, d yo, bro, you signed up for it after high school. Sorry, the recruiter tricked you. Well, it's it's hard. Like, I feel like the the military Ooh, dude bros, tough. the military dude bros who are demanding the fucking things are the minority. It's like the military wives who are like, um, my husband is a hero, so please give me this discount. It's like, oh, lady, <laughs> we don't talk about women like that, Teff. Uh, it's Not okay. Cool. I can. We don't have no. genders on this. <laughs> yeah. What happened to throwing out genders as a whole? Yeah. <laughs> Tay, fight back. Come Call on. Call them military <laughs> partners. The last review, though, from a person is, good place to buy my mom's medicine. <laughs> okay. Whoa. whoa. It's real sad there. That's real sad. That, yeah. That, that takes a few seconds to really, like... Digest, but like, doesn't what, it? what I'm not understanding is like, what level do you have to stoop to to think that this is a, a socially acceptable thing to say in a public forum? Well, it's the South and the public education. I guess no one went to public school, so <laughs> there you go. We all we all just go to the local like mom who's not employed and she just teaches us whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Maybe She's that's like, why you got that milf thing. Is like yeah. it's kind of just oh, don't it's, make a, it's in a deep now. spot. No, we know why I got that. Lisa Ann, like <laughs> Tori, you know what I'm talking about. I know I, it's the wacky nipples. Did you did you pay this monthly subscription to the Ann fan club? The Ann Knights. Maybe I'm not as deep in the game as you are, pal. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were a brother of the Ann. <laughs> Damn, you almost revealed the secrets there. But maybe I will be now. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah, it's a hot tip. So now, <laughs> now we're going to look at how these people are just built different. Because, you know, typically someone leaves a bad review. The store replies with something like, oh, no, we're so sorry this happened. Like, please give us another chance and we'll make it better. No. Every single liquor store had something like, one response was, I'll take things that never happened for 500, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, way. that's good. That's good. I, I like this archetype of response from a, from a store owner. Or 
if you really want to review the store, then you need to write exactly what happened and not the made-up story you just shat out because you <laughs> forgot that we are equipped with all kinds of surveillance cameras. <laughs> hey, they, hey, that's where I get my toxicity from. Like, <laughs> it's the liquor store it's just owners where you were are born. <laughs> hey, sophomore year was an interesting time. They. They typed out like in the SpongeBob like meme format where it's like, oh, you no think way. that? No. They typed out in the SpongeBob meme format. Thanks a lot for spending your precious time to give us a review. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god! god. These, we need That's... to take a tip from down south because this shit is awesome. That's phenomenal. What about? Did you do one for Knoxville or just my hometown? Because Knoxville is like a different. Like, oh it, yeah, some of these some of these are Knoxville. Okay, good because Knoxville is probably the worst like individuals, also with like the smartest individuals mixed together. Like Oak Ridge, like a bunch like that's where the atomic bomb was built, and like the laboratory. So you have oh, like really thank smart you for people. your service. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hiroshima deserved it. Let's be honest; they were that for us. <laughs> yikes! 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 <laughs> you know, war crimes. God, we love that shit. I got I pulled one of these from Knoxville, which is just like it's not even a review. It's just here's some racism. <laughs> yes. Which is what? I'm giving the new owners a shot, but not too sure. Dot dot dot. They're brown and don't speak English very well. Oh this is yeah. happening. Whoa, that's not even disguised. Oh no. um, god. No. Then they they're say mask off in a different kind of way. <laughs> oh, they're probably also that mask off too. <laughs> oh, the city right next to me is like mad racist. Like they burned down the school, so like people of color couldn't go. To <laughs> that's, oh my God. that's why they didn't go to public school. <laughs> yeah, Legit. they just burned it down. <laughs> the next thing they said was, and this is happening all over the place too. Every liquor store, convenience store, and hotels, they're all getting taken over. Uh, that's like wow. that fam- South Park episode. They took her job. Like, <laughs> yeah. Another tag there, Tori. I got you, bro. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm good. <laughs> We're all tagged up. The owners fight the fuck back because when people did throw that mask shit at them, they just always responded, you declined our offer of curbside contactless servers. Your issues <laughs> your issues are of your own making. Hell Boom. yeah. I like it. I like the I, I like the, the like snapbacks that they have there. Like They're not afraid to... Just, just give them a fucking honest response instead of being like, "Oh my gosh, we're so sorry. Come in without your mask on, and we'll blow you." Mm-hmm. Is that what Minnesota does? Yeah, yeah we're too nice. Trying to make me act up, make a review right quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or like you guys brought your personal issues in the store, and it is not appropriate and safe for our customers and my staff. So security escorted you out and asked you both to stop. Here is the footage attached. And they legit yeah, they attached, attached the footage. The footi- oh, my Wait, God. Wait, what? They That's attached damn. the footage of these people arguing without wearing a mask and then getting escorted out. That's Gee! damn. <laughs> That's amazing. That's impressive. They are a different breed of we don't give a fuck what our customers think because this last one here, I just got to re- It's fucking incredible. This owner said, I want all of the smoke you have to offer. Fucking fight me. <laughs> because someone said some mask bullshit again and how they weren't served. And then the owner responded, you were being a baby and we don't serve minors. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. No way. Yo, that's incredible. That's pretty impressive. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. That's I didn't good. know my city was like that. Jeez. Yeah, liquor store, liquor store reviews really brings out the the ethos of <laughs> any particular area. You you didn't know like with with how much you want to just fight everything with how <laughs> difficult you are as a human being you didn't realize everyone else was this way too. I just thought I was a cut from a different cloth. I didn't know everybody was cut from a different cloth down here. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't know everybody wanted to smoke. There's a lot of cloth. There's a lot of cloth scraps down in Tennessee. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's all inbreeding, so everyone shares the same cloth <laughs> oh, down there. Yeah. They're all part of the same tapestry. <laughs> All right, so we just going for the jugular. All right. Well, as as fun as this been, it's it's closing time. 
Uh, Tay, give us a give us a transition out. I don't. I'm. Hey, hey, Tay, can you stab this podcast in the jugular? Yeah, I was about to say we can murder this podcast too. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, again, thank you so much for HTK for uh, hanging out with us today and having a, a good old, good old time. So go ahead and leave a lit, like, favorite, comment, and or review. It really helps the show out, helps us beat those algorithms, and it gives us more fuel for the fire. Uh, we love talking to you guys and getting more feedback from you. Also, hop over to Shapeless Media on YouTube, where we have so many videos. You're bound to find something you like. Make sure you leave a star rating and review and follow on whatever podcatcher you listen to this on, because that really helps us out. And as HD2K taught us, the algorithm can bring you to some crazy things, and we want it to bring you to us. So go check that out. The other thing you can do to support the show is buy some pod decks. Look, we could have used pod decks for this whole interview. We didn't. You want to know why? Because combined, we have enough subscribers to give a shit. You, on the other hand, don't. You have no subscribers. You're just getting started. It's going to suck. You know your ideas are bad, okay? <laughs> that's why you need something to help you, and that's where pod decks come in. Pod decks are going to give you interview questions, topic suggestions, things to talk about in your very own podcast. So if you listen and you were like, I want to do this, maybe take a step back and think about it before you do, Okay. Get a pod deck, use code SWORDWATCH at checkout, get 10% off your first order. Help us help you. We don't want the internet littered with more bad podcasts. Buy some pod decks. Well, actually, we do, because then they'll try to get to the good. Anyway, uh, hey, HD2K, are you ready for the pod deck last laugh? Hey, I don't know what that is, but yeah, go ahead. I thought you listened to 30 episodes or so, but all right. I don't stay till the end. <laughs> <laughs> he falls asleep to them. That's true. Yeah. You know, hey, honestly, hold on. Before we do the pod deck last laugh, HD, what's your YouTube channel? Promo yourself. Oh yeah. HD two K. Check out the videos, okay? He puts up what is it, four videos every week? Fuck. Yeah. Good but I can't stream anymore. Like I get clipped every time and it's just not my thing anymore. Like Yeah, you probably. need some editing. Probably. We're gonna <laughs> clean you up a little bit. <laughs> okay. You guys ready for the pod deck last laugh? Sure. Have you ever been arrested? And if so, for what? Hey, HD, are you going to get arrested for trying to fuck all those kids' moms? Ain't nothing illegal about that, baby. With consent? No. <laughs> <laughs> they all want it. Have you not seen my anime profile picture? 